Hello guys, welcome to my tutorials corner. My name is Abhi and this is part 17 of WP of tutorials video series. In this video, we are going to learn about the calendar control in WPF. The calendar control provides the facility to user to select a date visually. It comes up with different controls on it. By using these controls, the user can navigate to any year or month and then he can select the desired date. Also, it provides the different facilities. By using them, we can restrict the end user so that he can only select the date between a given range of dates. On this screen, you can see there is a very simple calendar control. So let's flip to Visual Studio and look at this with an example. To create a calendar control, simply type calendar and this should display a calendar. Let's name it my calendar. And I'm going to set its height to 300 and width to 300 as well. Let's talk about the properties of a calendar control. First of all, the display modes property. There are three types of display modes. The first is decade, the second is month and the last is year. The default display mode of a calendar control is month. So if this is set to month, the calendar is going to look like a monthly basis calendar. Let's go ahead and set the display modes of a calendar. Display mode is month you can see there is no difference here because the default display mode is month let's change this to decade so if you notice here the calendar is displaying all the years which comes in a decade you can see this is displaying all the years from 2009 to 2020 so this is the decade based calendar let's go ahead and run this if I will click here this is going to display the next decade calendar this is from 2020 to 2029 if I'll set this to year then the calendar is going to look like a year based calendar you can see this is displaying the 2016 and inside this calendar this is displaying all the months of this year let's go ahead and run this if I will click on here this is going to display the next year calendar So these are the display modes of a calendar. Let's talk about the other properties of a calendar. The blackout dates. Suppose you are in a company and the company is operational only from Monday to Friday and the company don't want to display the Saturday and Sunday as working days. So the company can simply show these dates as blackout dates by using this property we can set a range of dates which will not be available for the selection so let's go ahead and look at this i'm going to set the blackout dates to do that create the calendar blackout dates and inside that we will have to provide the blackout date range the start date is October 9 to so I am going to set the blackout dates from 8th October to 9th October you can see these two days are 
marked as blackout dates if you want to set more blackout dates you can simply copy and paste here this time I want to black out from 15th of October to 16th and you can see these dates are also marked as blackout dates okay so these are the blackout dates in a calendar the next property is display date start and display date end if you will notice here this calendar is displaying the dates of previous month and the next month as well the next month dates are from 1 November to 6th of November also this is displaying the dates of previous month that is from 26th of September to 30th of September but in some cases we don't want to display the previous month dates or the next month dates so to do that we can simply use the display date start and display date end properties let's go ahead and get rid of this code and set the display date start and I want to start from 1 of October and display date end to 30th of October now if you look at here this is displaying the dates which we have specified here this is displaying from 1 of October to 30th of October if I will set this to 28 this is going to display the dates between these range so these are the display date start and display date end properties let's talk about the selected dates suppose you are in a company and the company organize the events time to time now the company wants to display these event dates highlighted in the calendar so to do that we can simply use the selected dates property of the calendar control so how do we do that let's go ahead and first of all I'm going to delete this to use the selected dates first of all we need to set the selection modes to multiple range if this is set to none then you will not be able to set the multiple dates as selected or also if this is set to single date you can't do that so first of all let's go ahead and set the selection modes to multiple range selection mode to multiple range and now inside that we will have to provide the selected dates so let's go ahead and set the selected dates calendar dot selected dates first of all we need to specify the namespace because the date is defined in system namespace so let's change this to dt and let's call the namespace CLR namespace and system namespace okay that's all now we can provide the list of dates dt date time and let's set the date here 10 that is the October month and I want to set the 18th 2016 so you can see the 18 is highlighted here 
let's copy this and mark more dates as highlighted this time 26 and 27 as well you can see these dates are marked as selected dates okay so that's the selected dates property of the calendar control let's talk about the other properties of the calendar control first day of week and each today highlighted by default the first day of week is sunday if you will notice here the first date is set to sunday that is 25th of september suppose i want to display the first day of week to friday then i can simply set the first date of week to friday and this should display the dates from friday you can see friday is here and it, this is pointing to the 30th of september so that's the first day of week is today highlighted you can see the is today highlighted is set to true by default if i want to is today highlighted to make it false you can see the selection has gone so that's the is today highlighted property let's talk about some events of the calendar control i am going to use the selection change event of a calendar control and when I will trigger this event, I want to display that date inside a text box. So let's create the text box first and name it txt date. Let's go ahead and create the event selection changed. And let's create the event handler go to the code window and here I want to set that date inside the text box text is equals to my calendar dot selected date dot to a string so this should display the selected date inside the text box Let's go ahead and run this. The text box is not visible at the moment because we are using the grid here. Let's change this to stack panel and this should be visible now. Let's run this code and select any date. You can see the text box is filled with the selected date so that's the selected dates change event similarly you can use the display date change event this will trigger when the display date will change also you can use the display mode changed event this will trigger when the mode of the display will change you can also change the background color of the calendar control suppose I want to change this to red or aqua you can see the calendar background color has been changed similarly you can place the image of a calendar by using the calendar background and inside that we will have to provide the image brush and here we will have to provide the image source I have icons folder let's change this to icons and maybe there will be an image inside that that is Italic. If I will change this to italic. Dot png. Then 
let's delete this so you can see there is a background image of the calendar control so that's the calendar control in WPF I hope you guys enjoyed this video so that's it from this video tutorial please subscribe comment let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching have